Hey guys, it's Kiara. Welcome to the channel. So today's video will be how to get an A or an A star in A level economics. And guys, let me tell you, I was super close to getting an A star in economics. If you see my A level results video, I literally was two marks off an A star, which is absolutely crazy. I'm still really grateful, but absolutely crazy how I'd get up to that level because at the beginning of sixth form i was so so bad at economics i don't want to make this video extremely long so i'll leave my main points and resources down below that helped me to succeed in a level economics upland was actually a possible option for me at the very beginning like the first three months because I wasn't getting those A's at all, however, I watched many A-level advice videos and found a good um, economics technique as well as it takes practice and more time but if you do need to add that extra effort just to really push yourself and make sure that you can get those top grades then definitely add that time. Okay, so starting off with my first tip, it would be find your revision technique, and I always say this. So my revision technique was definitely the Cornell note method. So I'd have a piece of paper, and then I would draw a margin on the left side or the right side, and I'll pop in the questions along with my notes in the um, big section. And then I would just number those questions and circle the questions that I got wrong. Just focus on answering those questions until you get them right. And then after that, I would just get a piece of paper, do a mind map of what I can remember. And I would make sure to do this after my lesson in economics. For my economics lesson, I would make sure that I roll around what the topic is going to be about so that I'm not completely clueless. So what helped me get through um, the multiple choice in economics is to do many multiple choice questions and even though it may not seem like you're getting 25 out of 30 or 20 out of 30 yet you will get there soon as long as you keep on repeating those multiple choice questions and answers so what I did is I just had Google Slides to help me with this. I would take a screenshot of the question that I got wrong and then on the next slide I would put in the answer and I'll go through those slides before my study session or my next lesson or before an exam and that would help so so much with multiple choice to go through the process of elimination because two of them are completely wrong so find the most dumbest answers if you can you have two left where you can choose one um, of those answers if you get what I mean so if you have a and b left then make sure you make a right decision on which answer it is but first of all with essays once you have that knowledge and that revision technique that you go through daily for example when I, with my timetable I would always have 30 minutes in the morning just to recap my lesson from yesterday recap my notes make sure I have all of those questions right and um, once you have that structure then you can move on to the essays so when I do the essays I would make sure I'll do like two essays that I would do in real time so I give myself 45 minutes for the 25 marker and then 20 minutes for the 15 and the rest of the week I'll just go with essay plans and essay plans I'll just make it as a mind map so I'll pop in my question in the middle of the paper and then paragraph my um, point out my paragraphs so the first paragraph would be this point this point and this point also want to make sure you have a structure as well with each paragraph But this structure is so so helpful so it has your point and then your evidence then you explain yeah make lots of essay plans and go through them regularly um, when it relates to the topic and then if you do your own essays make sure you have your teacher to check them for you and focus on your weaknesses okay so when you're making your flashcards as well I would make flashcards for paragraphs as well and for a particular topic for example the budget what um, arguments can I put for the budget I'll just bullet point that on a paragraph so I'll just show that 
in a second on my flashcards or a bullet point what I'm going to put on the budget. So I'm just going to put what's a balanced budget. You can have a... Yeah, so all of your points will be so that you can easily, when you're in the exam, memorise the points and write all about it. So secondly for essays, it would be the context. So I would get my context from Physics and Math Tutor. They have really good updated news on what's going on in the economy right now. So yes, I will just have a list of notes there and I'll pick out which ones I would like to add into my essays and pop them on flashcards. Try to memorize the context as much as possible. That when I'm writing my essays, I have very good examples of the real world that I can apply to this topic or this argument. You wanna make sure you follow the AQA structure, which I'll post a picture of right here. Um, I would just stick this on my wall and make sure that when I'm writing an essay I'm getting all of these points because basically you want to be the mark scheme. Okay, so my camera just died on me. We have this booklet that I always use for um, when I go to school before the exam. I'll just have a read of this because this will tell me what I'm missing in my knowledge. So in the red here as you can see it's the bits that I forgot to add in or while I was writing out my notes from my memory. A lot of blurts and also the diagrams. Make sure you practice the diagrams. So I'll just spend like 30 minutes just writing out the diagrams, all the diagrams I can remember that relates to the topic or the exam you're doing. This is really handy as well, along with my slides. Really do learn a lot for economics. I remember learning so, so much content just for one exam paper. So when you learn a, a new topic, make sure it's drilled in your brain by understanding so understanding the topic means that you can explain the topic to a young kid to an adult in your own words and um, you don't even need to look at your notes and then in this book in the green is just the context so real life examples I also did which actually helped me is to just rewrite my really good essays over and over again um, so that I can get a feel of the structure. So collaborating with your um, classmates and also my friends. Study sessions in the library during our freeze at school. We we'll just talk about the topic and also test each other on the diagrams and also the um, context that would be so, so helpful as well as the multiple choice. Before you start an essay, plan, plan, plan. Just take that three minutes to five minutes planning. Uh, my last tip would be timing. So timing is super, super key along with your timetable as well. Make sure you have a good timetable where you know what you're gonna study in this week, what you're gonna study in your economic session. So you wanna make sure that you time yourself writing out those essays, time yourself doing the multiple choice. And it's really about your thought process and the quality of your notes. So everyone's notes will be different. I took my notes mostly from physics and math tutor and also from other websites which I'll link down below because um, those are useful everybody gets different knowledge from different people but as long as it relates to the question that should be helpful for you anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video more tips will be down below and if you have any other questions feel free to ask hopefully this is helpful and I'll see you in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.